Uh, we're going to be learning how to test the strength of the shoulder flexors. First thing I'd like you to do is to move the person's extremity to the full range. This will allow you to know how far the extremity can move and you can make your decisions from there. I'd like you to place your hand up in the shoulder region to prevent any undesired motions, but please don't restrict the motion of the scapula. And I'd like you to take two fingers, either palpate the anterior deltoid or the clavicular portion of the pec major. Once that occurs, you ask the person to move as far as they possibly can. If you see no movement or you feel no contraction, the grade that you award is a zero. If you feel contraction and see no movement, the grade that you would award is a one. If the individual is able to move to a partial range, but less than full in this gravity eliminated plane, the grade that you would award is a two minus. If they're able to go through a full range and that represents their best effort, that would be a grade of two. If the person can move through the full range with minimal resistance, which has been defined as the weight of two fingers, and that is their best effort, the grade that you would award is a two plus.